Yeah, for fifth. But I tell you real quick. Here comes Kevin. Get some more information. the buses and the people leaving their destinations. Think it's going to work, Tom? Sure hope so. All right. I know this magnifying lens should have works nice. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see quite a ways off with it, or you have to? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm in focus right here. <laughs> can you see far, though? That's as far as I can go. <laughs> <laughs> can you see me? You're a blur. <laughs> oh, oh, now there I can see way out here without my glasses. Can you? Yeah. I think I could probably use it without glasses. Well, see, I've got bifocals, so... Yeah. I never can decide whether I should use them, you know, that one I got. So oh, it'll wake me up when you beat up. Yeah. <laughs> it's a beat up. Right. And I never can decide if I should use... It works better, I think, through the top part. Yeah. is or more. And this is inevitably coming. And I've written about that in one of my recent updates. And I think you'll find that fascinating. And you'll say, oh my gosh, why didn't I think of that? Why didn't anybody think of that? Of course this is what's going to happen. It's obvious. Um, let's see, uh, we do need a high-tech workforce for the future. I think we all recognize that high technology is the way the world is going, and that the more we let them... <laughs> Um, a boat round electronics uh, idea, um, a creepy PP transmitter, one watt, and uh, I think we chased it about 80 miles. After that, uh, we started experimenting and developing what we call the shuttle, which is this box in front of you. Uh, we did two uh, z uh, zero pressure balloons, and um, with uh, mixed success, we learned a lot. Uh, all these flights are educational, sometimes very painful, but uh, uh, we do learn from them and we evolve. Well, one more day of Dayton. Here's where we're staying. Clouded up today. Days in. Wave, everybody! <laughs> Okay, go for it. <laughs> oh well, we tried. Yeah, we tried. That's, that's all you can ask for. <laughs> oh, I got so much stuff to learn. Uh, but there might be some grassroots movements to try to, to move towards uh, uh, new legislation to uproot and toss out all. We'll, we'll see. This is going to have to come on us. If you're interested, let me know. We'll do it for you. But I have to have some help. All right, so any other questions regarding the law? Yes, sir. How do you man No matter what type of a piece of equipment it is, if it was intended um, for radio reception by normal people, <laughs> 
uh, intended to bring it to the consumer, <laughs> uh, then, and is not test equipment, then it makes no difference whether it's a receiver or a transceiver. Uh, if it gets cellular, it'll no longer be legal to manufacture them um, after. Yeah. Okay. Now that's all we have. It has to be recertified. Anything that is uh, enhanced and upgraded has to be recertified through the commission, and they won't do it if it has a cellular capability. Yes, sir. Is this the same? My leash is too short. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 1993 David Hammond Prize Drawing. We have quite a pile of uh, items down here to give away this afternoon, and we have some information that we're going to pass along the way here to you. Uh, this year, we have a grand total of $115,000 worth of prizes that were given to us by the manufacturers, dealers, distributors throughout this arena. They deserve a round of applause. Okay, one other thing that I want to announce is the main prize for the student drawing was a Sony shortwave receiver, and it was won by Sierra Spunagill. Spunagill, Route 1. Extensive list of notes of things I wanted to make sure that you all heard about. Uh, fortunately, I lost it. Uh, probably one of the most important things for us is the fact that uh, there was a slip up in the program, uh, as final as they're ever going to get. Uh, total attendance for the 1993 Ham Benjamin 35,186 which is 10% over last year. Yeah. So we hope you all come back next year and have a safe trip home. Now for the good stuff. <laughs> uh, number one contributor, total dollars. Yesu USA, $24,096.11. Number two this year is Icom America, and their contribution was eleven thousand and eighty-one dollars. Frequently, the radio manufacturers like Yesu, Icom, etc., are always the, the major, major contributors to the hamvention. This year, we have kind of a newcomer as far as being in the top three, and we want to make mention of this. Mosley Electronics came in number three this year for total contribution, $7,223.60. That now $7,000 linear amplifier. The SP5 external speaker, the MD1C8 mic, and the YH77ST headphones. Yesu's dream station, obviously, for a good reason. $7,324 retail value. That's the number one prize. The number two item this afternoon is the Yesu also FT 736R 2 meter, 70 centimeter all mode transceiver with the SP767 external speaker. MP April 26th, uh, Monday, and we're back from our trip to date. We made it back about 5.30 this morning. We drove all night, dropped uh, Kevin off in Chicago. I guess everybody had a pretty good time. And uh, two days of rain, Saturday and Sunday at the Ham Fest, but it wasn't too bad. We spent most of the time indoors. So we did have a couple of nice days. Thursday and Friday were real nice. So it's all in all, we had a good time. Well, that's it for this trip.